Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a good morning so far. So today I'm starting a new series and it's all about comparison. We all have struggled with that at one point or another. And today is part one and it's about the inner critic. So have you ever been scrolling through social media, looking at everybody's posts, and all of a sudden you start comparing yourself to them, your life to them, your body to them? Great, me too. <laughs> it's good to know I'm in good company. So I realized in times like that, when I was doing that, that this inner voice started um, replaying um, in my mind and was just reminding me of how I wasn't where they are or how my body didn't look like theirs. You know, all the negative things, right, that, that your mind will do. Um, just spinning my thoughts um, faster than a hamster does on its wheel, stealing my joy, taking my happiness, all because I was sitting there comparing myself to someone else. I knew I had to figure out a way to stop it, to somehow just get rid of that cycle in my mind. Um, sure, you can take a break from social media, but who's really gonna do that for any length of time? <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> so I thought to myself, how about if I name my inner critic? Maybe if I name her, I'll take her power away. Maybe if I become her friend and ask her, why are you feeling like this at this moment? Um, it will allow me to uh, empathize with her and figure out where her mind is um, during that time that she's being so negative to me and making me feel so crappy about myself. So I named my inner voice Lucy. <laughs> when Lucy starts talking, and let me tell you, she is a great shit talker. <laughs> when she starts talking, I now am able to shut her up because I took time to recognize and identify during the times that she is just being such a chatterbox in each ear, what in that moment was I jealous about? Um, what was it that I didn't like about my life that I liked about someone else's? And it made me realize that I was comparing my weaknesses to someone else's strengths. I realized that I was simply jealous that someone else was brave enough to do something that I've been so afraid of. Um, and once I started doing that, it really, it just didn't bother me as much. I, I felt like I had taken my control back. Um, I feel like uh, we all are so guilty of comparing ourselves to other people. Um, and it's just a dead end road. Uh, you can't compare apples to oranges, really. There's only one commonality and it's that they're both round. Everything else about each fruit is unique to its purpose on the earth. We are no different. Why would you compare yourself to someone else who is not made like you, who is not brought on this earth to serve the same purpose as you? When you do that, you are just taking away your self-worth and you are, well, for me, it just really got me in a low place and it just really made me feel worthless. Um, but I realized when when she tries to start talking, now I know how to stop her and say, no, I'm not going to be jealous in this moment because I'm happy for that person. I'm happy that they had enough strength to do that, to accomplish that, to overcome that. And I can too. I realized that I, my own voice, my own inner voice was holding me back from so much in life. It's no different than this journey of doing these videos. Um, you know, I watch other people's videos online. I see how professional they are, that they might have a hair and makeup team, that they've got a cameraman, the perfect lighting to make everything look great. Um, and you know, Lucy's kind of been in my ear a lot. And she has reminded me quite a few times that, you know, I'm in my living room doing my own hair and own makeup sitting next to the litter box <laughs> and I have to tape my background to the stands because when I have the windows open it moves but that's okay because just because I'm not where someone else is that may be trying to do the same thing I am doesn't mean I'm not going to get there and doesn't mean that my contribution in this world is any less valuable 
So I want to offer this encouragement to you guys that if you have a negative inner critic like I did, maybe if you name yours, it will help you take your power back and realize that you are so much more than you think you are. You just have to change that negative inner voice to a positive one. And trust me, you will go to new heights in life. I promise you. I hope that it's encouraged you guys and I'll see you next week. Have a good one.